Good morning, people of God. Good morning, Good morning. Preacher of God. Clear your throats, get ready, because we are having, uh, it, it appears to be, a, uh, a patriotic-focused worship service uh, in preparation for uh, later on this week. We come to worship our Lord and Savior, celebrate the resurrection. May his spirit and peace be with you. Thank you also. And Debbie Smith is back to uh, uh, lead us in worship a little bit. Oh, that's a scary thought, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we'd like to welcome everybody here today. I'm glad you came for this patriotic service we're going to have today. And I know Mary's probably picked out some really good songs for us to sing. Sort of. <laughs> okay, well, don't get your hopes up high, it sounds like, but... <laughs> But um, if you'll take a few minutes and um, read the, the opportunities for the coming week, which doesn't look like there's a too, too whole many things. Um, does anybody have any announcements? Kathy Weathers. So I said we're going to do a t-shirt. So we've got, we've got the ball rolling. So what it's going to look like is something similar to this logo. Would you like to show that in front of the camera? No. no. <laughs> like they're not they're not mind readers I'm thinking there we go we're going to add Fort Walton Beach Florida because it didn't have it on there and then since the women are spearheading at the women's so we're going to put disciples women's on there so but but it, the men too bad for the men hmm? too bad for the men yep too bad for the men no we'll take that off for the men and then we're going to put a sim something simple on the back in white the new pins that we had that say, um, so it'll be something similar to this that says. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love. So that'll just be in white on the back, simple. We, we thought about putting a scripture, but that was a lot of words. We didn't know people would read. So we thought just something simple on the back. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to try to get, uh, in, an, in a since we're beachy, we're going to go with an aqua e color, you know, watercolor versus, you know, like versus this. Um, and we're going to try to do it a little bit, this is like that heavy cotton, we're going to try to do it a little bit thinner, and I've already got the price, it'll be around $15, and if it's more, uh, CWF is going to, the women are going to kick in and fill out the price. Uh, I've got a, a thing, a, a clipboard you can order, if you want to pay me, we can get it going, and just want to let you know, that's, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> We're going to order shirts. They're fifteen dollars. They're going to be specially marked for our church, and it's going to have the faith. What's the faith, hope, love? Is that the same on the back? And you can let Kathy know, and she will order them, and it's you can get the money to her. Wes Weathers. Two things. First thing, security. Uh, we uh, have been notified by Laura Gina that she's come to work three times now in the last month and the doors were unlocked. So I'm asking anybody that has a key and unlocks the door for any reason, be extra vigilant on locking it back up and setting the alarm and closing the place up so that we can maintain a secure facility. Secondly, repairs to the, the sanctuary. I've got bids. It's been approved by the board. We are going to replace the air conditioner that is 24 years old with a new one. And it's going to be the total unit. It's going to be in the neighborhood of $15,000. If you want uh, to find out the exact price, I can give you that later, but that's the neighborhood. We're also going to repair the roof so we won't end up with uh, water stains on the tile like we have now. Uh, that turned out to be much better than what I had anticipated. And um, what's going to entail the work there is they're going to be replacing all of the fasteners on the roof and re and sealing the steeple which probably leads to that one there. there. You can see the little dots. That's probably from the uh, the fasteners themselves leaking. I've gotten the bid from our cheapest uh, 
not cheapest, but our most inexpensive uh, <laughs> contractor to increase his bid from the original replace those that needed to be replaced to replacing all of them. So we're going to get brand new fasteners up there. Both bids that I got said that that's approximately the same thing and that needed to do to our roof to get it quit leaking. So I'm very confident about that. Um, that will be in the neighborhood of uh, $2,300. So uh, long story short that I've been on you and talking about special giving. If you feel God speaking to you to once again step up to the plate and help out the church, <coughs> we are more than willing to accept it. Thank you. And I have to repeat that. Yes. Say there's repairs to, and we need money. We need 18 grand to repair the roof and the air conditioner. Please donate, and if you can go over and above normal donations, we would greatly appreciate it. If you need more information, see Wes Weathers. How about that? Well we done, did a Debbie. lot of talk, and then I shortened it. Yes. <laughs> Any other announcements? Yes, Jack. The ice cream social will be this afternoon following the recital, which I understand is about 4 o'clock? 3.30. 3.30. So there's lots of ice cream here and come out and meet and greet and do all that sort of thing this afternoon. Okay, ice cream social at 3 o'clock this afternoon here at the church, right? No, no. Recital at 3.30. Recital at 3, ice cream 3.30. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, recital at 3, ice cream 3.30. So please plan to come out and support the, is it people, kids recital? Or? Kids. Oh, awesome. Some of your Children. students. Huh? Some of your students. Yeah. Awesome. So some of us, some of Mary's students are going to play, and then we're having an ice cream social afterwards. So if you're not here today, this morning, please plan to come this afternoon. We would love to have you. Any other announcements? If not, let our worship begin. of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace. I can feel the brush of angels' wings as they roll beyond each place. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Our call to worship is, let us rejoice and be glad in this beautiful morning and let us enjoy the patriotic songs that we're going to sing and think of all those who serve in the military. Amen. If you'll turn in our opening hymn to hymn number 721, <clears throat> My Country, Tis of Thee, verses 1 and 3. Let's go. 
Keep standing. Go ahead and be seated. <laughs> so, apart from um, Debbie being uh, relieved from her uh, uh, illness, what other joys do we have to celebrate today? Jamie Lee? Uh, my yes, yes. <laughs> so, welcome from Illinois. <coughs> Corn and soybeans, St. Corn and soybeans. Yes. <laughs> Debbie Smith. Our daughter's going to turn 46 on the 4th of July. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's been a tradition to have her birthday on there. Yeah. She, she used to think that the whole country celebrated. <laughs> <laughs> so she figured out her dad was one of them. I told her every 4th of July I would take the roof off for her. You, you are a fine father. <laughs> I never lie. <laughs> and with all that, yes. Oh. Others. Laura Avery is home from the hospital following her uh, kidney um, re removal and is progressing along on her recovery right now uh, fairly well. So that was a, a big joy in, in her life, of course. I, I got a text from her this morning, and her mom has COVID. So her mom's there to help, and her mom has COVID. So, you know, that household, we it just... It does seem like one thing after... Well, it is one thing after another. Yeah. And I know, I know they're... Um, having trouble with meals, so if anybody would be interested, I'm sure Roger or myself, if you could get something down here, sure. we could get it to him. I'm going to take him something after church. So, uh, And she's so appreciative and so yeah. sweet. Um, they do have their son and daughter-in-law in and, and Laura's mom and other some other family checking in as well. I and, and usually yeah. I just drop it at the door, you know, I'll, I'll yeah. text her and, and just leave it and uh, it, it's a big help for him, I think. Yeah, it is, it's, and you're right, very appreciative. Um, Annette uh, had some uh, positive uh, chest x-rays the other day. No, no um, not any uh, bronchitis or pneumonia. Still uh, is very fatigued throughout the day, so we're not sure what that is uh, continuing to be. From our first service, uh, Tina McCormick asked for uh, prayers for her travel to uh, to Philadelphia uh, over the 4th, and she also fell on her elbow and has uh, some elbow uh, pain and, and not able to use it. <coughs> and also, Misty Young shared uh, a prayer of concern for her colleague and friend, Cindy White. Her husband passed away and Cindy has some children at home as well, so um, those were the concerns from our first service. May our Lord be with you in prayer. With you also. Loving God, we thank you for a day where we celebrate a, a special uh, blessing in our lives. So many times we uh, go through life complacent unappreciative of the freedoms that we have. Help us to honor those freedoms as we go uh, along in our life. Help us to feel the, um, the presence of those who have paved the way for this life as well. We give thanks for your care for us, of course, the forgiveness of sin, the grace in which we live each and every day, the hope.
holy presence that accompanies us in everything that we encounter in life. Indeed, we are blessed whatever comes our way. The needs that we have shared with our church family are, uh, some are listed in our bulletin, some have been shared, others may be in our hearts and minds as we worship this morning. Um, I've been wearing a heart monitor for a month, and I get to take it off on the 4th of July, and so hopefully those results will be okay. <coughs> I'll go to the doctor on Wednesday to try to maybe get some answers about the, in the incident I had in May, so hopefully those things will go well. <laughs> Lord, we pray along with Debbie uh, that uh, the tests would uh, lead the doctors in the direction leading to answers uh, concerning her uh, instance with heart distress. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. I had my bone marrow biopsy. It went very well. They kept telling me it was going to hurt. It didn't hurt a bit. It didn't kill anything. Thank you, God. <laughs> and so I have an appointment on the 11th with my doctor, and they'll decide on what kind of treatment I need. And also my husband fell again getting out of bed in the middle of the night. So we're going to pray with you. We're going to pray along with Vicki. Um, in the results from her tests, leading doctors to uh, determine the next steps in the course of action. Lord, hear our prayers. prayers. And we pray for Don, recovering from a fall as well. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Yes. A couple of prayer requests. First of all, for Jen and her constant struggle. She has four hours of testing tomorrow at Ascension Sacred Heart. Hopefully they can identify some of her problems. Lord, we pray along with Dan and, and many of us that would, uh, for Jen, continue the tests, and uh, especially tomorrow where she has some um, specific tests to, um, to, to endure. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Another prayer for my brother who is right now in UCLA Medical Center, and he's on the heart transplant. Mm. What's his first name? Jason. Jason. Lord, we pray for Dan's brother, Jason Kruger, and uh, in the process of uh, heart transplant, the doctors and, and team involved. Lord, we pray Audrey? Lord, we continue to pray for Ken as he um, perseveres through um, various aspects of Parkinson's. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Yeah. Prayer of praise. My son in law's had his kidney operation, and the doctors have said he's cancer free. Amen. Lord, we give thanks for. Uh, the, uh, the great news, the success of the surgery for Jack's son-in-law, Rick Harbour, um, the miracles of, of healing through uh, surgery and, and your touch. Lord, <coughs> Lord. Our prayers. Yes. Joe? We have a couple of my sisters in need here. Continue prayers for my sister Marilyn Gully. Pancreatic cancer and has elected to discontinue chemotherapy. Lord, we pray for Marilyn and uh, as in the days ahead, as, as her health declines, may she feel the Holy Presence. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Thank you. 
about getting more fun. It is not getting any better. More or less, Jim's uh, other sister, Andrea Long, uh, goes into a time of confusion with dementia issues. Um, we pray that you'll keep her safe and, and allow her to uh, experience uh, the blessings of life. Lord, hear our prayers. Prayer for Jen's mother who is traveling home on Friday. Also for, oh, Sue. Sue. Yes. Lord, we pray that you'll be with uh, <coughs> Jen's mother, Sue, and uh, her travels toward the end of the week. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. Loving God, triumphant Savior, ever-present Spirit, we thank you for worshiping alongside us and for giving us inspiration and your peace, which surpasses our understanding, giving us uh, a foundation uh, for faith and life. Continue as we do remember the prayer shared with the disciples from the Lord. Praises to our God, for he is gracious, and a song of praise is fitting. Amen. Let job. us enjoy this singing Sunday. <coughs> Well, these booklets that I passed out to you have a red, white, and blue cover. Uh, if you have red on the top, that's for the for publishings. If you've got the blue on the top, that's for the <laughs> <laughs> If you want to change with a neighbor, that's okay too. <laughs> Unless you happen to be like me, like to kind of keep it. Purple. These booklets, however, are half-hour booklets, and we are limited to um, 15 minutes here, so um, I'm going to ask, you think we could take 20? Well, all right, so what I'm going to do here is say does everybody have their flags? Let's have a, a flag waving here for a second. Oh, yeah, okay. So you can wave those flags at any time during the sing-along, or you can save it to the end where we'll do the Star Spangled Banner. But um, I set my camera up so that I could take a picture of you all. So um, I'm wondering if you can. Wave your flags one more time and say cheese. Cheese, USA. I guess we'll start with this land is your land, and then um, you can tell me what you want to go into next. <laughs> Amen. 
From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with fall. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet To the wild blue yonder, flying high into the sun. Here we come, city to be our thunder, our wild city to be done. Down we die, studying our flags above under, off with one hell of a roar. We live in fame over there.
of her tail, we will hit the dusty trail. Those caissons go rolling along. Again, Lord, we turn to you, and we have honored those who have been in the line of uh, danger in, in various ways. Many were on the front lines, many supported those lines, but it was uh, the effort, the, the entire effort that uh, provided the way to uh, to proceed. Lord, you have blessed this country in countless ways. And we pray that as we go forward as a nation, that we would once again be reminded of your foundation, the 
the foundation and the lives of, of, of all Americans. Your foundation, especially in the lives of uh, the people of, of God that provide, um, provide refuge, provide for needs of, of those who are in need. So if we have been blessed, may we be blessed such as Abraham, blessed to be a blessing. For we are also on the mission, the mission of a greater kingdom, the mission of the Savior and Lord, the mission of the Almighty, the mission of unconditional love. So today, may we be undergirded and inspired by that mission of the Savior, by the Lord of life, the bread of life and the blood of, of salvation. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I glanced at the newsletter and Jim Long inspired me. I know that's maybe kind of rare, but uh, <laughs> Jim said that uh, maybe I would have a message in music sometime, take the, the cliff notes of my sermon and and, uh, and sing it in song. Well, this is Singing Sunday. I thought, hmm, I'll take the cliff notes of my uh, communion meditation and uh, and share a song, a song that we sing many times in our first service called One Piece of Bread. Could you give me a middle C there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I can do it on that. Okay. I'll think. You don't know? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll. Okay. The lyrics call us to the table. One piece of bread, blessing it, he said. Take and eat the portion broken for you. Come to the Lord, hunger nevermore, so our souls are fed. One piece of bread. One father <coughs> sent his only son. One spirit and the three are one. One body and he bids us come be my guest. Be my guest, one quiet room where our hearts commune, where our souls are fed. One piece of bread. We hear the words echo down through history come and eat. My body is given for you. Come and drink. My blood is shed for your sins. The new covenant of my blood has come. So may we eat of the bread and drink of the cup and celebrate God's love in our lives. <coughs>
sisters, brothers, and one in the Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Almost gracious and loving God, we stand at the table that you have prepared for us. You gave your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross that we might be made clean to come to your table. This table is a symbol, a reminder of the sacrifice that you made, but the love that you have for us. We pray that you keep us always mindful of your gifts and your love for us, that we might share it with you and those around us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus blessed the bread and broke it and gave it to his disciples. We take and eat. And in a like manner, he took the cup, passed it, and he gives it to us and we drink it. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Our offertory thought this morning is, what is joy? Joy is seeing a smiling face. Joy is someone coming to visit you. Joy is something you have to give away. It could be as small as a smile. Joy are the things we hold in our hearts. Joy is a fond memory. Christ gave his life for us. Maybe not joy at the time, but we hold that joy in our hearts, knowing that we are saved. Through this offering to the church, we can continue to spread the joy to the community and the world. Continue the joy this week. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, let us find the joy in our lives and share it. Let us see the joy in all that we do. Thank you for the joy that Jesus gave us through his sacrifice, by giving his life so that we might find joy knowing that we are saved. Through this offering, we can share that joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we get to the closing song, I would invite you to turn just one page over on number 723. May we share that as the people of God. Almighty oh God, you have given us the good and as our heritage. Make us always remember your generosity and constantly do your will. Bless our land with honest industry, truthful education, and an honorable way of life. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion from pride and arrogance, and from every evil course of action. May us who came from many nations with many different languages a united people. Defend our liberties and give those who we have entrusted with the authority of government the spirit of wisdom, that there might be justice and peace in our land. When times are prosperous, let our hearts be thankful and in troubled times, do not let our trust in you fail. We ask all this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As I have mentioned, we have been richly blessed and um, a hymn which probably all of us grew up uh, sharing at one time or another. Uh, allows us to um, to give God the thanks uh, for this nation. 
if you have neglected or never taken a step of faith to follow Jesus as your Lord, to claim as Lord, to claim him as your Savior, this would be uh, a tremendous uh, day to honor him. <coughs> or perhaps you are uh, wanting to be a part of this faith community and the ministries that we have here. Uh, if that is the case, please come as we share our closing hymn, uh, honoring God's uh, providence within our lives. May we stand together. <laughs> Thank you. 